Thirty years ago, the Connecticut Food Bank was founded to service a network of food pantries throughout the state. The network was supposed to be temporary. I'm Nathan O'Leary for Comcast Newsmakers at Comcast Connecticut Studio. Nancy Carrington, President and CEO of the Connecticut Food Bank, joins Newsmakers. Welcome, Nancy. Thank you. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about the Connecticut Food Bank and the areas you serve? Connecticut Food Bank provides food over six of Connecticut's eight counties, all but Hartford and Tolland County, which are served by Colleague Food Bank. How many people are affected by hunger in Connecticut? It's an amazingly high number. There are about 450,000 people who struggle to put food on the table. And we know that one child in five is missing meals. One in five. One in five in this state. And then Connecticut's emergency food supplies. Obviously, you know, storms take a toll on them. Uh, how do these storms affect the local soup kitchens and the pantries? Well, they can really outstrip them because the food pantries and shelters and soup kitchens are all struggling every day to be able to feed the people that present themselves at their doors. So a storm uh, just sends them into really severe mm -hmm. problems. But we've had good support at the time of storms, and then we need to move beyond to the day-to-day, -day, every day of the year issue of hunger. And this is a recent term that I think is bringing to light the state of the economy, food insecurity. Is That's that right. right. Well, you know, it used to be called at risk of hunger, mm -hmm. and very severe food insecurity used to be called hunger. But I think the names have gotten a little bit uh, prettied up perhaps to make them seem less ominous than they really are for folks. So what does it mean when, when people do say food insecurity, what would you? It means where they don't necessarily know where their next meal is coming from. They don't have regular access to sufficient good nutrition to be able to lead healthy lives. Are the holidays the most difficult time for food pantries? Holidays are a time when many pantries will want to do something extra, particularly for Thanksgiving, somewhat for Christmas. But hunger knows no season, and that's an important message for people to remember. In fact, in the winter, when there are hard winters like there were a couple ago, um, heating bills can drain people's budgets, particularly those who are on a fixed income. And then summer is a problem. When children are home from school where they may have been getting free or reduced price breakfast and lunch. So it, that puts a stress on families. Can you describe how your network works? Because I, I think that people, Connecticut Food Bank, it's one large thing, but how does that work down to the local levels? We supply food to soup kitchens, food pantries, emergency shelters, all nonprofits that are feeding people in need. Some of them will call themselves food banks, what I would call a food pantry, okay. that we're almost like a wholesaler supplying those retail outlets which are meeting the needs of people right in the community. Oh, I see. Okay, so where can people go for help? Well, they can uh, go to our website. It's a really good place to start, which is ctfoodbank.org. And there, there's a button for that says, need help. You can enter in your zip code, and it, that will draw up a list of the programs that are in a range of that zip code, right. where people can help, get help if they're in need of food, or where they may be able to uh, volunteer time or make a gift themselves. Great. You've been doing this for 29 years, so my last question would be, how, how do you feel you have such a passion for this? I do. I wish that I had put myself out of business many, many years ago. Yeah. But until then, I guess I, I'd look very much at the half full glass and how many people we are making a difference in the lives of. Thank you, Nancy Carrington, President and CEO of Connecticut Food Bank. Thank you for joining us for Comcast Newsmakers. Thank you as well. I'm Nathan O'Leary. Until next time.